never met anyone quite like her before. Hi, so for today's video, I had a special custom order request from one of my best friends to make some cups for their dance team. So she actually designed the whole thing and I just kind of went with it. Like, um, So these are the Tossware Pop plastic beer glass, not glass, but plastic beer can cups. That was a long way of saying it. So it's like the glass one that I did the rainbow one, but it's smaller. So I believe this is 16 ounce for the glass one. And these are 12 ounces. So they are smaller. They are made of like a lightweight plastic versus a glass. But these are kind of cool because you can connect them. I've actually had the wine glass versions of this before and it was at a wine tasting. So you can like have, I don't know how many wine glasses you'd want, but you could have like four different ones and walk around with it and then, you know, be drinking one and holding all of the other ones. Cause it was like one of those, you know, stand up tasting kind of events. But yeah, so, and they lasted a long time. I still have them and I probably got them like two years ago. But they hold up well. They are not for hot liquids or for the dishwasher. But if you just use regular hand washing, they last a really long time. And so this is made with the Tech Wrap Cold Color Change Vinyls. So I have six colors and I got one more. Um, this is a pink one. So it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple for the tech wrap. That's all the colors they have. Or they do have some new colors on the website, but I wasn't able to get the pink off of there. It was sold out. Plus, it was really hard. It's hard to get tech wrap from their website to Hawaii. They have like some kind of big shipping charge. So this one's from 143 Vinyl, and this one comes in a 12 by 12 sheet. And this is the Style Tech color change cold pink sheet and this one is five dollars or 4.99 a piece for a 12 by 12. Um, I don't know how much these are each. I bought them as a set with a transfer tape and a squeegee tool like this one and I want to say it was like 45 dollars but these are 12 by 5 feet rolls so you get a lot with that. But yeah, I'm so glad about the rainbow because it's so cute when you have all the colors. So I already made these. I finished her order for her dance troupe and it says Eat, Sleep, Dance, Repeat. So cute. And it has the girls' names in rainbow. Um, so I'll show you. So I have some ice cold water. Maybe I can turn the camera. Never met anyone quite like her. So this is the rainbow and then yeah so all the colors the tech wrap and then the pink. The pink and the purple are very similar but at least they're somewhat different. It was really hard to find pink. I looked all over and then this is the back side. So cute and it actually works out better um, that they're plastic because it's for kids. Like the regular beer can glass is glass and it's slightly fragile at the top so I wouldn't give this to my kids. Yeah, so this is a cup and so as a surprise I'm going to be making my friend one and it's going to be a version of this. It's going to be eat, sleep, or yeah, eat, sleep, take kids to dance, repeat. And I'll show you how I made that design on Cricut Design Space next. And I did her name in Rainbow. So, yeah, I think we'll go to the computer and do that first. So, this is the design that my friend wanted. The Eat, Sleep, Repeat is in a font called Kaden, K Y D E N, and the dance is in Thunder. And Emmalyn is in Annie Lou, L E U. And I think I downloaded these from Creative Fabrica. So, the first thing I did was I made templates for the cup. And I just made a rectangle two and a half by three and a half and pretty much just centered it got it to where I wanted it that it would look nice 
centered on this template. So for the new cup, we're just gonna copy it and I'm gonna unattach. And instead of dance, we're gonna change this to take kids and then space to dance. So this is way too wide. So I'm gonna shorten the line space, make it closer together. It is a small cup, so we really have to take that into consideration when choosing the font and the sizing. Okay, so now I'm just gonna try to widen the eat, sleep, and repeat. So that's the nice thing about making the templates, like measuring the cup first and creating a template so that you can really like see what it's gonna look like or visualize what it's gonna look like on the cup and make your adjustments. And it's okay if it goes a little bit over. It, that just means it's gonna wrap a little bit around the sides. So I'm just gonna make some final tweaks till I get the spacing right. I'm just gonna make it pink so we can get a better visual and because I wanted to cut together with the eat sleep repeat and then we're going to move it on the side so we can align it you can only select two things at once when you align so we have to take it off the rectangle so we just go to align horizontally and center vertically and then we don't even have to eyeball it's automatically done so now we can attach it and then we have our first piece. So for the name, we're just gonna go to text and my friend's name is Yukiko. And this is in the Annie Loot font. So we're just gonna ungroup. And that way you can move the letters around. And then we're just gonna color them in rainbow order. And I like to make sure I'm only using colors on that second row. When I'm when you're doing a lot, it can be confusing. So as long as you make or select the same colors, like you don't want to be selecting two different blues because then they're gonna be put on two different blue mats. And then we're gonna group it again so we can fix the sizing. So I'm gonna make it three inches because that's how, what I did for the other cups. And then we're gonna do a slight tilt. And the tilt just makes it, I think, look cuter and it's easier to space out. It's more forgiving, I guess you could say. So we don't need these. So I'm just gonna hide the ones we're not gonna print out right now or cut out. And we don't need the template boxes either. So now we can go to make it. And it has all the letters on their, their separate color sheets. So I'll go through all the colors and I'll check the lettering and make sure it's okay. And then I'll go to set base material. And the one I want to use is in vinyl and called premium outdoor vinyl. And that just works for my machine. I figure that's like a thicker vinyl because some of these are thicker. The pink one is definitely thicker. Um, yeah, so I just choose that and I'm just gonna cut out all these mats and come back. Okay, so I have all of my pieces, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink, all cut out. And I have my cup here. So I do like to weed on this old mat. Last time when I was doing the rainbow cup, it was really dirty and I had a hard time with the lint. So I cleaned it off as best as I could. Still looks a little dirty, but I think it's okay now. The first thing I'm gonna do is alcohol wipe my cup. And this is a really important step for your vinyl to last on any project really that you're doing. But it does take a while to dry and you want it to dry naturally. You could get like a lint-free wipe to wipe it, but that's just an extra step. So I'm just gonna weed down the side to dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and weed out my design. It's pretty hard to see um, 
because this color change vinyl is pretty clear so it helps to do it on the mat in a well lit area lazy sunday thinking maybe don't you want to spend some time been so patient like i've been so I have my vinyl all weeded out. I always have to make sure like, the little dots on the eat, sleep, and repeat and the eyes, make sure they're always there before you peel it off because it gets really hard. But anyways, so when I look at the cup, it's very symmetrical, very clear. There's no imperfections. There is a label, Tosswear, right here. So I'm going to do the eat sleep take kids to dance repeat on that side and i already cut out my transfer tape i am using the cricut i don't know why i don't really like this one but if i these are fresh brand new pieces and so i think it'll work or i've been doing it i made like 12 already as long as you use like a fresh piece then it comes off okay otherwise sometimes it doesn't want to come off And because it's lettering, I do like how there are the lines. I would usually use the extra sticky pet one, but since it's lettering, it's, yeah. I think more accurate with the lines. So I'll just use a squeegee. This is not a good lighting day, but I did want to film this so I can drop it off to her as soon as possible. Okay, and then when I try to center things, I mean, I pretty much eyeball it, but I hold it in the middle and then I align it this way. And as long as the bottom words are you call parallel to this bottom edge this should be good because there is a lip here too so you don't want to put it over that you want it to be right in the middle and then i push the middle down securely and then i get my squeegee and do one side and the other and then once it's on there then you can really go at it so it's, the lighting's not great so it's hard to see but I'm just using the squeegee tool to really get out any air bubbles that I can and with the transfer tape on you want to do this with the transfer tape on because it kind of protects the vinyl and it won't scratch it this way I used to use a credit card and I like the credit card method too, but sometimes the credit card will scratch the vinyl because it does have an edge, so I prefer using this. And I like to go in an up and down motion over each letter. That seems to really work with this vinyl. And then the good thing that it's plastic because you can really like push down. With the glass, I was kind of like nervous. You can even like use your finger and give it an extra, like push against it and sandwich it, I guess you could say. I think that looks good. And then we're gonna put the name on the opposite side. So I'm just gonna Center it this way and do the name. Okay, so I have my transfer tape and I have two pieces of parchment paper. 
and this is really important and I would use fresh like right from the box parchment paper because you don't want any like extra lint sticking on there so when I do the lettering especially since it's a script I always cover one side and then well the Y is the first letter so we'll just do that first and I only take off the backing as much as I need so I'm gonna kind of align it and then sometimes like this transfer tape isn't that sticky so sometimes it's hard to get it off like it doesn't want to come up okay, and there so. Yeah, so if you can see the Y, it's very faint. Then I get the parchment paper and I cover everything except for that little tip where it's going to connect to the next line. Can you see there? So it doesn't really matter if it's jaggedy and it actually it helps. So you want to make sure it's covered so you don't get lint on the other letters. And then we're going to do the U. So I cover up the rest because you don't want it to get stuck on other places and come off. And it helps to do this by the computer too because you can see how it was written on Cricut Design Space. Like if you need help finding where to put the little tail end. Okay, so we have Y and U. And then we're just going to cover it up all the way to the very end. And then move it over. I'm just going to peel off a little bit. And this kind of calligraphy font is also good because it's really forgiving. It's not supposed to be even. It, that's that what make it makes it harder, really. If you have like a block font and you have to make it all even. So if you can see, just the tail is sticking out. We have so far. One more time. Welcome to your resurrection. Gonna make you come. I noticed the blue does not like to come off on the transfer tape. <laughs> For all the projects I've done with this one. Not bad, it's just, yeah, this one just doesn't lift off as easily. So then I have to take it off and then. The rainbow font is always more difficult to do, but the effect is worth it, I think. And you don't want it to overlap at all, if possible. The flatter it is, the longer it will stay on the cup. So that looks good. And then I'm just gonna place it at an angle in the center between the two edges. Sorry, it's spring break and the kids are home, but I wanted to finish this video. That's what all the noise is. And this go up and down the letter get out any air bubbles and if you do find that you overlap you can totally fix it especially if it's just a little
Okay, so if you find you went over a little bit with the tail, don't even worry. So it's a little hard to see, but you just use the edge of the squeegee and you push it down. And if you have to, you can move it a little bit, you know, to the side where it can be flat. It'll still look really good. You just don't want anything sticking up just because that's the place where it would start to peel eventually. So, yeah. That looks Okay, so I got more ice. So that looks really cute. I love the color change vinyl. But yeah, so thanks for watching the video and I hope you like these cups. Um, they're a perfect size, I think. The other one is a little big. This is like maybe for a beer or something like literally. This is like a good size for just every day. But yeah. So, and thanks to Kiko for asking me to do this project. It was so fun and yeah, it was totally worth doing the rainbow lettering. So subscribe and I'll see you next time.